The MTA operates one of the oldest and largest transportation systems in the world. Between our subways and buses in New York City and Metro North Railroad and the Long Island Railroad, we serve nearly 9 million customers a day across a 5,000 square mile service territory. At the MTA, we have a simple guiding principle. The safety of our customers, employees, and the general public is paramount. We are responsible for the safety of every person who rides with us, and we take that responsibility seriously. Positive train control, commonly called PTC, is a safety system that ensures that a train's speed remains in compliance with speed limits and ensures that a train does not pass a stop signal. The use of this technology adds an important extra layer of safety to our train operations. It can help prevent certain types of train accidents, such as a train derailing because it's being operated too fast, a train running through a misaligned switch, a train colliding with another train, or a train traveling into a work zone where tracks have been taken out of service. On track segments protected by PTC, if a locomotive engineer operates a train faster than the allowable speed for that segment of track or operates a train through a red signal, PTC will automatically and immediately slow the train to a complete stop if necessary. This provides another level of protection against human error. The MTA is spending nearly a billion dollars to implement PTC on Metro North Railroad and the Long Island Railroad. Implementing PTC is a great challenge, further complicated where other railroads operate on our tracks. Installing PTC requires us to ensure that our systems all work together, and enabling this continuous stream of data communications will require the installation of nearly 9,000 transponders along the tracks and more than 1,000 communications units on board trains. It's also complicated because there is no off-the-shelf system that railroads can buy. PTC must be custom designed and built for each railroad, a time-intensive and very expensive undertaking. For example, because PTC is a radio-based system, the MTA had to purchase the radio spectrum needed for our system. We're tackling these challenges head-on and we're making great progress. Positive train control is an important safety system and it will build upon other existing safety programs. For example, both railroads have set maximum authorized speeds so that no location requires a speed reduction of more than 20 miles per hour. At critical curves and movable bridges, our signal systems already provide civil speed enforcement. Also, both railroads have active speed verification programs to monitor and ensure compliance with speed restrictions. Implementing PTC on Metro North and the Long Island Railroad will bring an even higher level of safety to two of the country's largest commuter railroads. It's a huge, tough job, but we're committed to seeing it through because nothing is more important than the safety of our customers, our employees, and the general public.